So I uh, bring in all the greetings and wishes to Dr. Gavi Siddharanda Gowda for Patel for scoring rank number 163 in DM Gastroenterology. Best wishes and congratulations on behalf of the entire faculty team of Speed Medical Institute. Thank you, sir. I'm very happy that I'm interacting with you. And uh, my wife, uh, uh, which was first to, she used to say that you should be at least get a decent time so that you should be interacting with you. You should come in a <laughs> platform to interact with them. And I'm very much thankful for all. Excellent, doctor. Excellent. Very nice. Very nice of you. Can you tell your brief history, medical career so far? I mean, where you're yes. coming from, where you have done medicine? Yes, sir. I'm Dr. Gavi Sitan Gouda uh, I finished my MBBS from Mysore Medical College. Then, soon after my MBBS, I took MD Pharmacology, Chipmar Pondicherry, for around uh, six to seven months. In between, I used to prepare for uh, next coming entry. Then I got uh, rank of 64. Rank of uh, 64. Then I resigned from uh, Jipmar Pondicherry MD Pharmacology. Then, uh, soon after that, I joined uh, Manipal, Bangalore for around three to four months as a junior resident in Department of Medicine until I got the uh, counseling process. Then I joined uh, MB General Medicine in Kim Hubli, Karnataka. Uh, I completed on 2017. Then I immediately joined as a uh, specialist in Taluk Hospital, Hunun, that is uh, near my place. I worked for around uh, one year in Taluka Hospital. Then I got a government appointment KPSC. Then I joined as a district, uh, I mean specialist at a district hospital, that is Play Darwad. And still I am uh, working there as a specialist or senior resident in district hospital as a permanent employee. Great. Uh, this was a steady journey. And uh, when you started your preparation, doctor, and uh, how were you prepared? Can you give a brief on that? Yes. First, uh, I appointed in 2018, sir. Uh, I just got one month leave at uh, my, my Saluk Hospital. And I just uh, gave and uh, I got around some 1,200 tanks. Uh, so that was a uh, matter of, I could not read and I just attempted. I got, uh, in 2019, I got married and I kept all my preparation aside because I was, uh, I wanted to give to that moment. I wanted to enjoy that moment. 2019, I was very busy with all marriage preparations and all. Then uh, 2020, uh, I started uh, preparing I started preparing for exams, but in between COVID, the first day came and it was very devastating. <laughs> and I could not get even uh, very few hours, I used to get just one hour or two hours, I used to get. Uh, because even I run a clinic in Harvard, even from 6 to 9 p.m. So both uh, their district hospital and here, it was very difficult for to uh, attempt at 2020, I mean 2019. Then I, attempt, I gave exam and I got rank of uh, 529. And DM gastro. Mm, I was able to get some of the peripheral colleges, but uh, I told myself I am not uh, done yet. I just want to give one more with full preparation. Then I I knew speed about during my UG days itself uh, because from Mysore we used to travel to Bangalore. That was offline speed coaching. From morning 4 a.m. we used to leave from Mysore and we used to travel to Bangalore. Then attend classes at uh, 8 a.m. in the morning and then evening. Saturday, Sunday, we used to stay in Bangalore and then we used to go back to Mysore again. Which, which year was that? Uh, that was which year was that? Uh, 2012, sir. 2012, 13. 12, 13, yes, correct. 12, 13. In Good Shepherd Auditorium, huh? Which place? Which place? The class? Mysore, Mysore, sir. Mysore. MBBS have completed from Mysore. From Mysore to Bangalore, we used to travel for a speed. Uh, classes. And the uh, class was connected in Good Shepherd, huh? Good Shepherd Auditorium. MG Road, MG Road. Ah, yeah, yeah. It was a very big gallery. <laughs> it was an... <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir. And uh, Sai Ayappa was our coordinator and he used to help me. Yes, uh, yes. It, 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 it was like a Kumbh Mela. It is like a Kumbh Mela. <laughs> huh? Very, very nice time. Wonderful time. Yes, sir. Wonderful time. Uh, then 2020, I subscribed uh, feed during March. Uh, then I started uh, watching videos of Dr. Darshan sir and Dr. Tejasini madam. And uh, uh, Tejasini madam was my senior in MMC Mysore. When I was used to be first year, she was to be intern, I suppose. Uh, so I was, uh, <laughs> some of my senior is there. So 
so i was very happy i used to watch uh, that sir videos and this uh, new madam videos then uh, when i started preparing for march april then again second uh, wave started and it was still horrible then when compared to first wave and uh, hardly i used to go home at that around uh, 11 pm 12 night so it was uh, very difficult uh, only 1 to 2 hours i used to spend then as the patient i mean number decreases covid case decreases then bit i got time from august august from september actual preparation started um i used to see the videos for around 2 months i have seen the videos of uh, gas and one month uh, medicine videos so two months i have seen each and every videos of uh, almost some 80 to 90% of the sensor videos and uh, before that i had completed one more preparation was that sensing a review and assessment one book was there that is clinical cases with uh, approach to clinical cases and with uh, explanation answer was there it's a review of a sensing a small book that i had read the previous year and that again i repeated for that so actual preparation is only just four months in that i have divided uh, two months for uh, gastro one month for medicine and last one month for entire uh, in one month 20 days for gastro and 10 days for medicine in that way i had divided in gastro same for example say for esophagus 3 hour 3 days small intestine 3 days like that i have decided so that it should have should be completed a uh, revision of uh, one month and then last one month uh, last uh, seven days <laughs> entirely for revision excellent excellent so very good very good interacting with you and lot of memories and uh, and also want to know the message that you want to give to the students who are aspiring for uh, dm gastro the first point is whatever you read today let's say for example you are reading some 10 pages or you are seeing the videos you have to repeat the next morning the same thing say for example you have made notes of videos today so some 10 pages you have made notes but tomorrow morning before you start the next thing you have to repeat the what you have read previously that is we need to convert the short term memory into long term memory that was uh, told my was my senior and the same it will be retained it is just like uh, it will happen as a two revision once yesterday you have read and morning you are refreshing that will stay for a quite long time and one thing sir and uh, for us like uh, both studying and preparing exam uh, for them i want to tell that it's uh, super specialty exam is very easy no need to be very panic but you should be at least some 6 to 8 hours if you give that's well and good you can definitely achieve a decent rank uh, that thing and uh, second thing is we should never compare with even with our colleagues or our juniors uh, because some of them will be doing super specialty or some of them will be earning and some of them will be paying higher fees and they will be getting so we should keep aside that all those things negative things and we should be very positive and we should uh, prepare a timetable definitely uh, then i think we can do it sir. it's not uh, like a pg day pg preparation and i have seen many of your videos like uh, you said uh, one of your student just read for one month and he got a decent rank <laughs> that was very inspiring for me okay so one month uh, one guy can do then why can't we are getting we are getting time and even i took leave but last two months are very crucial i suggest they should uh, anybody should take a leave at least one month at the last so that's a crucial time where you should manage everything and you should uh, uh, plan what exactly you need to revise uh, that thing but i never left my clinic sir 6 to 9 or 8 30 because you can't read for 18 hours at a time you need some break so my break was in the time of opd i used to spend my time tuning time in my clinic that's around 30 to 9 or 8 30 whatever so this is a message I can tell to all my excellent, excellent, and uh, very nice. And I want to thank you, my wife, uh, Dr. Kirti, is also preparing for PG, and my parents and my in laws for the support, sir, and especially for PG. Excellent, great, doctor. And once again, I bring in all the wishes uh, to you for a great career uh, in field of gastroenterology and for your greater contribution to the specialty itself to the next level and also for the patients who are going to come for your treatment for your services to be thousands and lakhs and millions that you will treat them with the most care definitely you do that give the best services to them for all that advanced wishes congratulations and uh, for a great uh, medical career and a career in gastroenterology 
and for a great life ahead and a very happy life. For all that, wish you all the best, all the success to you, to all your family members and relatives, friends and all people around you. Best wishes to you for a great career ahead. Thank you. Thank you.